And not only does your blood donation help three other people, it also helps you. Sandy York is a nurse with the American Red Cross, and a lot of times people think, oh, if I lose blood, that's not going to be a good thing. But explain to our viewers how it is not only okay, but good. It's okay, and most, and most healthy people can, can um, take the loss of a unit of blood, which is about a pint, 500 cc. Mm -hmm. And think of it this way, when you're giving red cells, the body works on a negative feedback system, so... You give your red cells, your bone marrow kicks in, and you get more. You get fresh ones, new ones. And how long does it take the body to replenish that? About 24 hours to a couple of days. So right to, away? It, yes. It kicks in right away. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, so there's no ill effects in that way. Take a look at some of the video inside the American Red Cross that we had shot earlier. What happens to the blood once it is donated and it's in that bag? What process does it go through? Well, first of all, it's put into quarantine because the Red Cross does test the blood for communicable diseases that are blood-borne. So, you know, um, hepatitis is an example. And that takes about 18 hours. So after it's come back from that testing, then we start to separate it into its components, red cells, plasma, platelets. And those are the three components and cryoprecipitate that can help the different patients. And Sandy, I love the way you, you made it clear how it's divided into those mm -hmm. categories because that's how it is able to, to help, to help so many people. Because yes. it's not just that my one pint helps one other person. Correct. It goes to several people. Correct. Um, and the amount of vo the volume that we put into the patients would amaze some people. If yeah. you have a sickle cell who's in crisis, we can put about 11 units in, in that sickle cell patient in one go in about two hours. Mm. And we do have a couple of patients that we do regularly once a month. Most mm. of them are children. Right. Um, cancer patients use a lot of blood. Uh, our hospitals take 500 units a day. That's what we need to supply the catchment area for the Red Cross. Mm. And that's a lot. Really. Fantastic. It is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's a great thing, and anyone who can donate should be along there donating. There is no substitute. Right, right. Um, it's not like you can take a magic pill no. and you have to have the blood. No, and they don't make anything. Well, we have several locations. It's all on our website. And thank you so much, Sandy, for being here and just educating us a little bit more that's on blood donation. Thing. It was so lovely. Tomorrow, Pleasure. hopefully, a great day. And if you want to learn more again about these donations, see this interview again. Follow me on Twitter at TV or my Facebook page, Don D. Mercer Plank, WISTV. My daily interviews are there, and I'll uh, re-air this on those of Sandy's information coming up a little later. Sandy, thank you. You're very welcome. Oh.